So here I'm stepping through the setup process. Now I'm connecting my Stripe, which I already have, but in your case, if you don't already have a Stripe, just create an account. So you'll be prompted to create a Stripe account. Noticing that I've already got that Stripe account, which I'm connecting. Now, even when you've made your Stripe account and connected it, you still need to set the Stripe settings. So this is for the direct debit. Without this, the direct debit won't work. So scroll all the way down and you're looking for backs. Turn it on. The webhooks is already enabled by us. There's nothing for you to do here. Now I'll import my contacts and my relationships from Logit. So what we're doing is exporting our client list and exporting our relationships both in CSV. So we'll import those contacts and we'll import the relationships. Both are important, and I'll show you in a moment why. So you will need an accounting software connected. In my case, I'm connecting QuickBooks, but you've got a choice, either QuickBooks or Xero. That's all we're supporting at the moment. And noticing I'm installing this for my firm. So now I will connect my Outlook. So you've got an option, either Gmail or Outlook. And the reason that you do this is so that you can ride your proposals out to your clients. The benefit of this is that you don't have to worry about your clients not receiving the email because of spam because the proposals come from yourself. So we'll provide you with the templates here and all we suggest is that you click over to the service scope and copy across our scopes. Everything's set up. Now we can go to the dashboard and get started with some proposals. So if you remember, I mentioned putting in the relationships correctly. The reason for this is that if we have a look down through my client groups, I should see that I've got the Doe group. And you'll see how all of the different entities in the Doe group are connected and ultimately when I select to send a proposal to a trust it'll pick up the signatories for the trustee company so that's an important step here that's pretty much it with respect to the setup and now we can proceed with sending the first proposal